I'm Deborah Wilson and I'd like to read you some extracts from my debut novel called An Artist Muse which has been published by Victorina Press. Excuse the tatty copy, lots of notes in there, that's how I find where I need to read. <laughs> so I'm going to read you um, from three different parts, um, apart from, from the beginning of the novel, then apart from the middle and then apart from towards the end. Hopefully give you a good flavour of what the novel's all about. Okay, so coming towards the end of the novel now. Um, the novel takes a dark turn towards the end um, in which one of the customers of the apothecary dies um, as a result of taking one of the cures. Um, Matthias comes under suspicion as being the one to have uh, poisoned the customer. Um, and Clara, wanting to save him, confesses to the murder in his place. Uh, and she awaits her fate in a prison cell. Alone in her cell again, Clara felt the seclusion of the dark more keenly now she'd spoken to her brother. It confirmed that they weren't acting as families should, united. He didn't want her to be persecuted for the crime, but even with her imminent execution, he wouldn't compromise his views in any way. He wouldn't let his experience of working with Matthias and knowledge of his character guide him to withdraw his suspicion. He wouldn't let Clara's testimonies convince him that Matthias was incapable of such an act. Even Clara's confession hadn't shocked him into reconsidering his accusations. If anything, to Clara's great disappointment, it had only spurred him on. He didn't see it as her own will, but as Matthias' manipulation, as if she were incapable of independent thought. The cell wasn't a place of comfort. Clara didn't try to reassure herself with delusions, but it hadn't broken her resolve. Not yet. Her brother's betrayal had weakened her more than a darkened room ever would. But even now she knew that nothing would alter her plans. She wouldn't leave Matthias open to persecution. Not for the first time, she wondered if he would visit her, if he thought about her and the sacrifice she'd made, or if he hadn't realised that she'd lied for him. What if he believed her confession was the truth? What if he believed she was a murderer? He could have decided never to set eyes on her again. She would accept his dismissal if it protected him from harm. She would endure anything for that. What a strange phenomenon love was, that it could alter a mind so drastically, that it could cause such pain whilst being a thing of beauty and delight. Clara had always known it could be destructive always known it could be deceptive. But finding her soul seized by it, she couldn't imagine life without it. It was as if a voracious, hungry part of her had woken and wouldn't rest until it had devoured all it could. In Matthias' absence, it grew more frantic. The aperture in the door lurched open again. The appalling squeal of metal on metal made her stomach lurch every time, but she trained herself to ignore it. No doubt Connor had seen her brother off and now felt like gloating to her about how her stubbornness would only cause her more suffering. She wouldn't respond. She had listened to his many attempts to threaten her and each had failed. He couldn't understand that she had no concern for her own life. She'd met the pinnacle of her potential, or so she believed, and that was enough for her to die by. Clara? With a word she was overcome. You. Her lips soundlessly formed the word as she recognised the voice she hoped she'd hear, the person she'd forfeited her life for. I couldn't let myself believe it until I could see you here in front of me. Unthinkable that anyone could trap you in this place, accuse you of a deplorable crime, without immediately denying your claims. I couldn't believe that you were arrested with almost no evidence, that they believed your testimony even when there could be no truth in it. Clara was relieved to hear that he hadn't believed her. It didn't help her plans, but at least it gave her hope. He wouldn't withdraw himself from her life to dissociate himself from a killer. Matthias. She brought herself closer to the door, her fingertips hovering over its cold surface, as if some heat might radiate from him and reach her there. The light in the corridor was bad. She could only discern outlines in his face. You must abandon this madness, Clara. You'll be hanged for it unless some evidence is found to disprove your claim. 
they would hang you instead. Don't you realise that? Don't you realise I could never let that happen? There are some turns of fate you can't alter, no matter what pains you take. Tears made hot loose tracks down Clara's cheeks. That's what you may think, and in normal circumstances, I would agree. But this is a wholly different situation. I must do what I can, otherwise I couldn't continue living, knowing that I stood by whilst you fell into danger. It is either my death and your life, or the end of both of us. You need to go on, Matthias. The world can't do to lose you. Do you esteem yourself so low? The words stuck in Matthias' throat as he forced them out. Do you think that someone of your talent could diminish from this world without even a whisper? When your paintings are discovered, Clara, you could be celebrated the world over. This talk is no good. The deed has already been done and if you try to change things, you'll undo everything I've sacrificed to help you. Clara's shoulders sagged with the weight of her grief. You must talk about ordinary things. Matthias exhaled a sob of stunned laughter at her dismissiveness. Ordinary things? Such as what? The fact that in your absence, the world has continued as it always did. That to my disgust, the sun still rises and sets, and mundane routines endure. It's all empty without you, Clara. Everything is a mockery. Other lives continue whilst mine has stood still, in disbelief. Have you seen Bill? I haven't gone anywhere near your brother, or his shop. I couldn't. How would I look him in the eye? He's as cowardly as I am. He let his sister be incarcerated, just to save himself. I'm so sorry that you're here, Clara. I can't bear it. I wish for the power to tear down this door, to bear you away and escape it all. How could I let things come to this? It isn't you, Matthias. I decided it. I couldn't let them arrest you. How could you care so little about your fate? He was breathless in humbled awe. Clara's chest couldn't expand fully. The will to hold back her sobs was so strong it caused her pain. I love you. I will die to protect you. If any words could create a disastrous chain of events, it was these. For the briefest of moments, time halted. The words diffused into the air and imprinted themselves on memory. Then the darkness loomed in, more imposing than ever, and Matthias opened the deepest chambers of his soul and poured out the poisonous bile from within. Okay, so I hope that's given you a good flavour of what an artist muse has to offer. Um, if you've got any questions or anything that you'd like to know more about, um, please let me or Victorina Press know through the comments. It'd be much appreciated. Thank you.